Hi, I'm Terrell Brinson, and thanks for tuning in to our talk show entitled A Voice, where men and women of all ethnic backgrounds come together to share their dreams, their visions, their goals, as well as their entrepreneurial accomplishments. The purpose of this show is to encourage those who have ever had dreams and for whatever reason, whether it was because of the recession that we've been in for a while or whatever reason it is have caused them to stop dreaming, uh, I've been blessed to have this show to encourage our viewing audience to dream again because there's greatness down on the inside of each and every one of you. And if you, if you start dreaming again and stay with it, you will realize your dream in due time. Now, I'm very honored today to have as my special guest, a dear friend of mine, Mr. Tyrone Porter. Mr. Porter, how are you this morning? Pastor Branson, I'm doing just fabulous. Yeah, man. Well, listen, it's such an honor to have you on. I know you. I know how busy you are. And to, and to lay aside your schedule for this period to come and be with us to help us encourage our viewing audience, those that have stopped dreaming to dream again, I'm very honored, man, and I appreciate you. Well, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Pastor. And, mm -hmm. you know, anytime you call, you okay. know, I'm there. Yes. Uh, when we talked about uh, what you were doing and uh, yes, the purpose, uh, it's all about our ministry. Yes. It's what we're supposed to do. Exactly. Uh, so many times uh, people look at who we are and and where we are on the platform, on yes. the, the so-called pedestals. Mm -hmm. But nobody really understands what we go through. Wow. The sacrifice to get there. Yes. And uh, it's just a blessing. You know, one of, the, one of the most important things that I've learned in my life is uh, I would dare, I dare not go through my life without God. Wow. Wow. Yes. Uh, because it's your foundation. It's our foundation. People... Uh, get mixed mixed uh, emotions, emotions or, yes. or uh, people have a misconception mm -hmm. of what is success. Mm -hmm. uh, success is first accepting Christ in your life. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Because that's the foundation and that's where everything begins. That's where your dream begins. Yes. You know, uh, without that, you know, we do like everybody else. We go and we try to achieve all the goals in the world, yes. you know, uh, doesn't matter what you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's not the issue. Uh, whatever you're doing and you're doing it without God, uh, you'll soon see that you will see failure. Yeah, well, somebody said only what you do for Christ will last. Will last. In other words, indicating that you can do something outside of Christ. Right. And, and be successful. At, exactly. At, 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 in, you know, in the world's uh, point of view. But but the, the but the longevity of it the longevity is the not longevity there is not there so now uh since since you've established for our viewing audience the foundation right. and that being god jesus right. uh the holy spirit all in one right now uh, tell us a little bit about yourself now you are i know that you're a family man yes and you are an entrepreneur yes and you are an uh, a recording artist yes Okay, and, and, and now you're over some big thing, uh, over, over the gospel groups or something. What's that? Yes, well, I'm the chairman of the Gospel Music Workshop of America Quartet Division. Okay. In that, where we do exactly what you're doing, we try to uh, educate the, the young independent artists about uh, the different changes in the industry yes. uh, from a... From, from a terrestrial side where we look at what used to be is not anymore. Okay. Uh, and, and the importance, uh, as I forestated, about God being in your life, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. uh, God is the same. Oh, yeah. Nothing changes. <laughs> That's right. So, so basically, uh, in all that I do, uh, it's almost like I close my eyes mm -hmm. and I go to work. Yeah. Wow. I close my eyes because it's not what I see mm -hmm. that makes me reach my goals, but it's where God leads me. Okay, I got you. You know, so 
it, it helps me out because the, the burdens that one will have with trying to have a family, mm -hmm. and I'm so blessed to have yeah. uh, my wife and yeah. two sons, yes. and I have uh, one, two, three, four, five grandchildren. <laughs> uh, okay. You know, and the reason I'm counting them because my youngest son just had one, and okay. I kind of get lost in them counts. But <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but anyway, but uh, but the blessed thing is family. Yes to have a family and uh as i forestated in all that we do mm -hmm. there are struggles <coughs> yes there are struggles and what we have to do as leaders as entrepreneurs uh in whatever we do mm -hmm. is be truthful yes about life mm -hmm. you know because one thing about life it is what it is yes and because I have God in my life doesn't mean that I don't have troubles in my life. Oh, no, that's, that's exactly right. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, okay, in uh, uh, encouraging uh, uh, quartet groups, uh, what do you say to them? I mean, what, 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 what's required? What do they need? What do you say to, to them to encourage them? Okay, you know talent right. because you are a singer. Right. You are an artist yourself. So you know talent. When you hear a group that's got the goods, if you will, mm -hmm. what do you say to them to help encourage them to keep it moving and, and not quit because doors are not opening up maybe as fast as they would like for them to? Well, as the scripture says, and what I try to do is not do what I think okay. is right, but do what God says yes. is right. And uh, first of all, lean not to your own understanding. Okay. <laughs> then don't get weary in well-doing. Mm. Because in due season, in due season, see, a lot of people don't understand. A lot of artists don't understand that it's a season. It's a season. See, though. we yes. ask for all of the the accolades that we look for in gospel music, stellar awards, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dove awards, yes. Grammy awards. Yes, you know. But a lot of us, as I would say, as a African American uh, culture. Uh, what we what we sometimes what we sometimes find out mm -hmm. we are talented. Yes, we are talented. We in are all gifted in, yes. our, in our own way. Mm. The key is: Do you recognize the gift giver? Wow, wow. <clears throat> that that that's exactly true, man. Because the, you know there's greatness down on the inside of each of us, and the reason that I can say that. It's Genesis 1 and 26 says that the Lord says, let us make man in our image after our likeness. There's right. nothing missing or broken about God. We're made in his image. There is greatness down on the inside of every one of Everyone. us. Everyone. And so all we have to do is just work to, uh, 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 you know, work out the giftings that are in us. Yeah. Paul told Timothy to stir up the gift, man. The gift already in you now. Already in But you. it's up to you to stir it up. Right. Uh, T, what we're going to do, man, we're going to prepare to take a break. Okay. And when we come back, we're going to we're going to finish up. We'll be right back with my special guest, Mr. Tyrone Porter. Today's guest is Tyrone Porter, chairman of GMWA Quartet Division. For artists who would like to be part of the 2013 GMWA in Cincinnati, Ohio, go to www.gmwanational.net and click on GMWA Division, then Quartet Division. For brick labor inquiries, call 601-835-2810 or 601-927-2310. We are back, and I'm here with my special guest, Mr. Tyrone Porter. Man, you was just uh, sharing with our viewing audience concerning the Gospel Music Network of America and mm -hmm. how you, you guys encourage uh, upcoming quartet groups. That's your division. Now, right. the, the, the workshop consists of, uh, uh, you know, contemporary and everything, but everything. You're, you're over the, the quartet division. Right, exactly. Okay, and uh, I understand you're doing a, a great job there. I actually came to one of those uh, out in Dallas a few right. years back, and, and we won exactly. some award. Yeah, a friend yeah. of mine and myself right. had a real good time. Now, listen, as, as an entrepreneur, and uh, if you allow me to say 
this, our president, he's big on entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Man, small businesses. You can right. start your own business. All you got to do is be willing to dream, uh, dream big. And uh, uh, I even, I even, you know, from time to time when I watch Brother Farrakhan, right. not a big fan of his, but 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 that. he's big also on entrepreneurship. Right. Now, I want to ask you, you, you have like a masonry business that you've had for a number of years. What inspired you to just not settle for going and getting a regular job, but starting your own business with all the challenges and stuff that you would have to face? What motivated you to start your own business and what have kept you in business this long? Well, it's kind of a long story. Okay. Uh, and this is especially for our friends and people that really don't know what to do in your life. Yeah. I just want to share this with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I lived in Detroit. I graduated, uh, went to business school in Detroit, Michigan. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of people ask me, well, why, how did you move from Detroit to Mississippi? Mm -hmm. Well, my parents, uh, thank God for my mother and father yes. and young people. That's yeah. the key. Always mm -hmm. love mother and father. Yeah. Uh, has so much to do with, with your success. Yes. And your upbringing and everything, all of the things that they give us to survive in this world. Yes. But uh, I moved to Mississippi. Didn't have a job. Didn't have a skill. Mm, okay. Uh, didn't have nothing. So you can make it without having anything. Anything, initially. But, that's right. <laughs> but what happened, uh, Pastor, is that uh, I began to uh, become a man. Mm -hmm. I began, first I had to accept that I wasn't living at home anymore. Yes. And I, as, a, as a black man, I wanted to stand. And, as I, and, I, and that's why references mm -hmm. are so important in life. So because you important. can look back, and I thank God for my father, yes. uh, because I can look back and I seen how he, how he mastered the family. Wow. How he went to work and how he took care of mom and how every Friday mm -hmm. they were making groceries. Wow. You know, it was just something, <laughs> it was a routine that he done, you yes, know. Yes. And, uh, and uh, never could I remember the lights being turned off. Okay. Not, not that we didn't have struggles. Mm -hmm. uh, wasn't a rich family. Yes. But the seed that he put in me yes. Yes. to get up in the morning, yeah. not at 12 o'clock uh -huh. to look for a job. Young people, yeah. uh, if you are looking to do something, uh, it starts in the morning. Wow. The early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the worm. So That's what happened was uh, I went through a lot of different changes. Mm -hmm. uh, I met uh, my wife, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Josephine Porter. Now mm -hmm. she was brown then, and mm -hmm. her fa and her father was a longtime brick mason. Okay. And I was working uh, for a plant in Monticello called the Killwood Garment Plant. Okay. That was a subsidiary of Sears making work clothes. I got you. So I I was a designer. I'd done all the pattern work and everything. And so he told me one day, he said, why don't you come and uh, just try this? This is your father-in-law. This is my father-in-law, uh, Mr. Yes. Willie Brown. Yes. And uh, he said, uh, you need to try this because you can do well mm -hmm. if you master it. Yes. Now, I want to say to, our, if I can, I yes. want to say to all of our young people that's, uh, that don't know which way to go, yes. uh, I do want you to know this, faith without work. It's dead. It's dead. Being all okay. along. Being, that's right. So uh, it takes something yes. to be something. That's right. <laughs> you know. So okay. what happened was uh, <laughs> I began to take up the trade. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't start at the top. Mm -hmm. A lot of young people need to understand that uh, when you start building your company, mm -hmm. uh, you first must know how to be a follower before you can be a leader. Isn't that the truth? You know, yes. In other words, you can't get top pay and don't know nothing. That's right. You know, that's right. <laughs> uh, the things that my mother and father taught me, the little things that I thought I would never have to use. Uh, you know, my dad would tell me every morning, Tyrone, uh, every Saturday when we got ready for church Sunday, mm -hmm. look, go get your shoe polish. 
uh, get that pace, and you sh get your shoes shined. This is on Saturday. This is on Saturday because no. you didn't do it on Sunday. Don't get up Sunday morning. Oh, no, you don't do it on Sunday, <laughs> you know. So uh, all of these little things begin, I begin to, they begin to come back and replenish my life. Yes. That meant that uh, as I began to uh, go into the masonry side of it, mm -hmm. the first thing took me, I wanted to be the best yes. brick mason that I could be. Not just go out and throw something together right. to get Not a few just, dollars. But right, you get a few to dollars. Perfect your perfect skills. It. Okay. Perfect it. Because when you are uh, a uh, a person that don't care mm. about your workmanship, mm -mm. that's not good. Then you can't demand top pay. Your pay. That's right. You know. That's so right. it begins to all come together and work. But make a long story short, mm -hmm. I. Uh, I began to, uh, one of the biggest lessons that I learned mm -hmm. uh, in this, and this is why I tell people, don't think that uh, you're going to make it overnight. But as long as you have a plan mm -hmm. to succeed, you can do that. Yep. And what happened was, yes. uh, <coughs> when I, you know, moved from Detroit, mm -hmm. and uh all of the people around me said, man, you're going back to Mississippi, man. That's that's a town, man. That's a place, man, that, look, they prejudice, man. You're going to get hung up in a tree or somewhere. Wow. And wow. I'm just, you know, I'm saying, no, y'all just don't know. This place, everybody friendly there. Yes, everybody right. wave. I mean, Mississippi <laughs> is a great place. So uh, I went and uh, worked for uh, this white guy. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he had a carpentry side. Mm -hmm. So learn all you can learn. Don't just yes. learn your trade. That's right. Learn everything that has. That's right. You know. That's so, right. So what happened was uh, I learned the good things as well as the bad things. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, this is one of my greatest lessons, and I tell young people this all the time, that uh, I was working for these white guys. Mm -hmm. I was the only black guy there. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were prejudiced <coughs> to older <coughs> men. You know, God bless their hearts. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was, uh, we were building dog houses. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what happened was I, uh, they had me to go inside the dog houses and put up the insulation. Mm -hmm. So when I done that, uh, I was finishing up the last one. And when I got up in there, they nailed it up, mm. hooked it to the truck and pulled it all the way around up the road. Oh, I was frightened. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I was I was frightened. Uh -huh. So I had to uh I, my pride was so high. Hold, hold that thought. I want you to hold that thought and we're going to prepare to take another break. I've got my friend here and he's got a lot of great information concerning uh starting your own business and and the struggles that come with it, but you can make it if you stay with it. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. A Voice, a show where men and women share their visions, dreams, goals, and entrepreneurial accomplishments. Wednesdays, 5.30 p.m. and Saturdays, 7.30 a.m. on Comcast Cable, Channel 18. Thanks for staying with us for the last few minutes of our show. My guest today is and has been uh, Mr. Tyrone Porter, and he's been sharing with us uh, entrepreneurship and starting your own business and some of, even some of the struggles that come along with that. You were, you were saying before we took our break uh, about working for this company and, and you were doing the installation on the inside of the dog houses that you were building. Exactly. And next thing you knew, they, they nailed you in and, and took you. Tell us a little bit more right. about that. Well, basically, uh, I, wa I was really just trying to do my job. Yeah. But uh, when you, and this is why I say, you know, I tell people and I tell uh, anybody that's going through, be careful how you complain about your trials and tribulation wow. because without them, you can't be who you need to be. Exactly. Now, I wanted, I, you know, I had so much pride, mm -hmm. but I had a family. I had a wife. Yes. I had a young son. Yes. And I had to learn how to deny myself wow. for them. Wow. And what happened was, 
by me being able to make the decision mm -hmm. to go back to work that next morning. Wow. The greatest thing about that, the guy that I worked for, mm -hmm. uh, God bless his heart, he got sick. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, but hold, hold on a minute. But you, you, the last thing we heard was that they nail you up in the doghouse, but then I had to go to break. What happened after they put you well, in the doghouse? Well, they, they drove around the, up down the road and come back and pulled me back in the driveway, and it was a big joke. Uh -huh. But I cry, I really cried, broke down and cried because yeah. it destroyed my pride. I couldn't tell my wife and oh, because yeah. Yeah. Be, me being a young black man, I wanted to be macho. Yeah. yeah. But God wasn't trying to show me macho. Yeah. God yeah. was trying to show me that there are things in life that we go through and, and that we say we will never go through. Mm -hmm. but, but young people never say what you won't do and never say what you won't have to go through mm -hmm. because these are the things that make you great leaders in life, mm -hmm. you know, and, and great, you know, because the lesson I learned out of it, I never thought that I would have, you know, Caucasians working for me. Mm -hmm. And God bless, I've been, uh, one of my best friends been working for me for about 15 years. Yes. But I learned how to treat them. Yeah, so you had to show humility. I had to show even after being humiliated. Exactly. You had to show humility I, I, because because you you you're a believer, you're a Christian, and so you couldn't just act out I on act, your emotions. I so you act still out. had to maintain your integrity integrity as a man of God, and as a result, now you've got Caucasians working for you. And I know and, how to treat and them. And you know how to treat them. I know That's how beautiful. to treat them. Yeah. And, th and 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 the great the great thing about that is that the guy that I work for. Mm -hmm. uh, had wrote up in his will that whatever happens to him told his wife to let me be the pallbearer at his funeral. Wow, wow, wow. And I was so grateful, wow. you know, because not only I was the only black there, mm -hmm. but he loved me that wow. much wow. by me standing and, wow. and setting that example. Yes. Now I'm blessed to have my two sons work for my company, yes. uh, uh, four other young men that work for my company, yes. you know, That's and and we have joy, we laugh, yeah. we enjoy, but we understand the integrity. Mm -hmm. We understand that you have to have uh, pride in what you do, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and the customer's always right. Okay, so for our viewing audience, then you, you, you've just pretty much let everybody know that uh, uh, starting a business or even working on a, uh, on a public job right. does not come without trials and tribulation, but it's going to be based, your success is going to be based on how you handle your what you have to deal Amen. with. Okay, we're going to set that aside just for a minute. I want to talk about the Christianaires. Uh, okay. I don't know, many of our viewing audience may not know that you were uh, one of the Christianaires, a nationally known group. Tell us a little bit about that group. Well, we were just blessed. Yeah. We were just blessed to go all over the country. All over the country. Sing with so many, Aretha Franklin, uh, everybody know the Canton Spirituals, Williams Brothers. Yeah. We've done so so many people that it doesn't even matter. Yeah. It was just the experience. Yeah. And uh, and God blessed us so mm -hmm. much to accomplish stellar awards <coughs> and and to do so many. And not, and not only that, mm -hmm. it's not the accolades, but mm -hmm. uh, the ministry was so strong. Oh yeah, you you all did a song that says "Saints, hold on, it's gonna be all it's right." It's gonna be Encouraging all right. Encouraging people along the way while you enjoying doing what you were doing. Exactly, and th and that's why you know we're doing what we're doing today yes. to let people know yeah. uh, it's not based on where you are today. That's right. You know, in reference to where you're gonna be tomorrow. Wow. You know. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. And and the Christian heirs were so blessed. Yeah. And uh, as we forced, everything has its season. Yes. You know, and all of the guys are doing fine. Uh, my brother has his solo career that's going, and I understand. Who is this now? He's in Paul Porter. This is Paul Porter. Right, Paul, yeah. yeah. Paul's, Paul, he's got an awesome career going. Right. And he's, uh, man, you guys just can sing, man. I mean, well, look, do you all ever come together like doing family reunions or Thanksgiving or something like that. If you hadn't yet, I'm sure it's going to come at oh, some yeah. point. Oh, yeah, we are always <coughs> doing. Matter of fact, we're going to Detroit on the 23rd of September. Yeah. And our, our old group that we had in Detroit called the Sweet Kingdom Mayors. What you say? You know, so we are going to do a little reunion there and, and, and uh, just, you know, have a blessed time. But mm -hmm. uh, just remembering one of the things that, that we always love to do yeah. is just you always remember those that paved the way for you. Yes. 
You know, we yes. talk about the reference. And that's where a lot of our young preneurs surround yourself around wise men. Wow. Surround yourself around people that's done what you're trying to do. That's right. Because it saves you a lot of pitfalls. Wow. That's right. That's right. Well, man, you guys have accomplished a lot. You've encouraged a lot of people. Uh, your business, uh, you know, as, as it relates to your masonry business, you are, you're a great leader and, and even your sons and the other people that you have coming up under you. Uh, I know you. You are a man of integrity, so I already know when you do that, when you pull that, uh, what you call that line? What you call this line? <laughs> when you when you frame your, your string line. Yeah, your string line. See, see, I I, I know you, and so I know your stuff gonna be nice oh, and yeah. neat. Right. And uh, if I know you as well as I do, you probably do a lot of extra stuff well, to to make sure that when the job is finished, you know. Well, the, you know, I'm glad you said that because. That's one thing that I want our young people to know. Yes. Uh, don't just do the job. That's right. But do more than what's required. What's required, you. exactly. Uh, and I tell my sons and I tell, look, when you get through laying the bricks, you got paid for laying the bricks, but you didn't get paid for sweeping and cleaning up. Mm -hmm. Sweep and clean up. Do it. Because that's more important than the brick laying. That's right. When people walk in and see, wow. Wow. You know. That's right. You so want to wow the people. You want to wow the people. That's you know? right. And it's the little things that wow the people. It's that's not right. the big things. On positive and negative. And positive because and negative. Because even on the negative side of that, the Bible says it's the small, it's the little foxes that rob the vine. That's right. But on the other hand, stuff that you're not getting paid for. Four. Exactly. If you would do that, when they come in, they say, wow, man, these guys did an awesome job. Well, now they're going to refer you to their friends. When they hear about somebody that needs what you do, your right. services, they're going to say, I got just the man, Mr. That. Tyrone Porter. But you know what? And I'm going to say <coughs> this, and I know we're going to wrap it up. But, but the key thing is mm -hmm. having a great wife. Yes. Because oh, yeah. she, put, <coughs> she put up with so much of, of what I had to do to get to where I am. And without her, she's my driving point. Oh, yeah. Well, let me, let, let me say this because our time is almost up. I want you to look in this camera and for, and for those quartet groups that would love to be a part of the GMWA, mm -hmm. I want you to give them information for folks that may need some brick work done. Mm -hmm. I want you to look into your, this camera and then give your information that you'll be able to be contacted. For the artists that would love to be a part of the GMWA uh, 2013 in Cincinnati, Ohio, you can go to gmwanational.net and scroll down to GMWA Division. There you will see Quartet Division, and there you will find all of our information and all of our schedules. And for those of you that really would love some outstanding brickwork done, it doesn't matter if it's stone blocks, glass blocks, uh, whatever you need, uh, you can call me at 601-835-2810 and my cell number is 601-927-2310. God bless Thank you, you so much. Our time is up. We just trust and hope that something has been said to encourage you. Brother, sister, if, you, if you're dreaming of having your own business, I want to publicly say you can absolutely do it. But dream, keep dreaming. Don't, don't let anybody or anything stop you from dreaming because there is greatness down on the inside of you. And remember also, November the 6th, we have our election coming up. I want you to make sure you get out to the polls and vote. God bless you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.